to memorize their lines. But the talent show is supposed to be a competition. Hmm? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have time. If I'm gonna win, I have to put everything into my own act. Oh, I understand. You sure you don't want help washing that out? I'm sure. But thanks, Blueberry. Penguin? So, each team has a pen and paper for writing clues? And you all have your secret treasures? Mm -hmm. So how this treasure hunt works is, each team will write three clues. The first clue will lead to the location of the second, and so on. At each location, you will find a secret treasure. Whichever team finds the secret treasures first will win the jackpot, which is back in town, waiting. Just so we don't get in each other's way, why doesn't my team go this way? And Blueberry, your team could go that way. Good idea, Strawberry. Okay. We will have one hour to hide clues and treasure, and we'll gather back here afterwards. And then we can begin the treasure hunt. Yay! <laughs> Pumpcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Strawberry! Good morning, Lemon! Mmm, what's that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, um, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pop cake. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. 
Cooler? Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Respelina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness? Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Ugh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, I love berries. I've never heard such nonsense. Ooh. Well <gasps> done. You did. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Rasbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> You are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. No, 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 no. Glittering. Glittering. Oh, that sounds best. What do you think, Pupcake? What? Custard? Mm -hmm. Oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far. <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, it would be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great! I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Uh, take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. When they see the real friendship in you When they see the real star shine in you Oh, I'll never find the right ending When they hear the real music in you That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. 
You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> it's you! You came! We, the members of the Cherry Jam Fan Club, would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she goes! Make very for Jerry Jam! Should do it. All righty, Earl. Let's get everything cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> I think I left my skittle jinx by the cable queue joint. <laughs> what was that? talking about were you eating toast no no it attacked me oh you were attacked by a piece of toast well ed i'm i'm, I'm only telling you what happened i don't know how she can stand it who can stand what strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's you know haunted 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 there's no such thing earl Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. Hm. You made me leave my Skittle Jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I, I didn't mean to go... Wait for me! You stay up there! <sighs> Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, well, you know what? <laughs> Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who else for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! <laughs> just a bit busy. <laughs> wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Those are for produce only.
decision is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the royal Goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal Golden Who? Uh, well, I never... Better get started. A it's a long idea. and challenging journey to find the royal Goldenberry. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> you! That's right, you! Step lively, you're coming with me. Yes, your highness. That's your royal highness to you, buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything to say, your your high royalness, royal highness? You there, let's get going! Excuse me, your royal highness. I'd be happy to help you find the royal golden berry, but you might not want me, because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the littlest barricade. Littlest Barricam, I would be honored if you would help me. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. Have fun! I excuse me? Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. The actual for real Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly. A camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here. Uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Yeah. 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 Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's... Very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, 
see you in the morning. your musical enjoyment. <laughs> Cherry Jam and her friends. Yeah! I'm wishing on a million stars in the sky. Just hoping one will go shooting by. I want the world to know who I am inside. Don't want Crumbs. Hi, Raspberry. How's it going? Well, I started out with a design I liked, but then, well, I wasn't so sure, so I made a couple changes, and pretty soon I'm changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. Expert? Always in style, always. 
always in fashion. And it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There. Hiya, hiya. I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah, but now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's Plum. Scouty, I feel like this is where we started. Are you leading us in circles? What's that? It's the other pups! Finally! <laughs> we found Hello. you! We were lost too! Hooray! Huh? Scouty? What's wrong with you guys? We better head back. Uh, let's call it a tie and we can all share the berry bitty banana chips. Yay! I'm starving! <laughs> What's wrong with the pups? <sighs> so that's where they were sneaking off to the whole time. Treasure is gone. <gasps> oh, no, it's not. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the cafe, and I'll make a fresh batch of berry bitty banana chips. Yeah! <sighs> wow, just what I'd hoped for. Miss Jam? Cherry! Cherry? We brought you a little midnight snack. Cherry? Where could she be? <gasps> oh, no. Look! I guess she didn't like it. She didn't like it so much. She'd rather sleep outside. <sighs> we had our chance, and we failed. you to give the Grand Opening's guest star some information first. Guest star? Huh? Surprise! <laughs> Presenting... Cherry Jam! Your Cherry Jam? But you... you... <laughs> so that's why I smelled cherry blossoms when I first met you. Wow, you girls planned this? Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> Here, quick! You don't want her to think we're just plain boring girls, do you? Well, we'll leave you to plan the grand opening. We have something we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! Well, um, here, please, sit down, Buttercup. Um, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. I'm sorry, Strawberry. I didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> I understand. I probably wouldn't have believed you anyway. You look quite different in person. I just dress that way because it's what my fans want. Well, I'm a fan of yours. Oh. But I'm also a fan of people dressing how they like. And I like the way you look right now. And I like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's not really me. <laughs> Not really me either. But don't tell. I won't tell a soul. 